All right, before we kick this thing off here, there's a uh, chance that one of you guys out there may get this thing right here. And if you don't know what it is, watch the video. Um, interact in the chat. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. I'd like you guys to have one of these. And if this works out, we're going to do as many as these as we can do and give them out. Stay tuned. And there's bonus footage at the end that I lost, that I put back in. So have a good time, chat amongst each other, and we'll see you there. All right, well, I lost all the bill footage. I was going to put that out as a premiere. We got this thing running. We have a BVGA 500 BQ, 80 bronze. Uh, that's the Intel i7 8700K. Okay. A Rogue Strix uh, Z370E gaming board. A simple uh, 500 gigabyte hard drive that's going to be changed out. That was temporary. With a super right DVD uh, rewritable disc player. It's nothing spectacular. What's great about this case is, uh, I don't know if you can see with this light that we have, there's room for tons of storage, tons of drives. It's a whole media center. And uh, of course, the wire management's a big issue. Everything, like, we like everything tucked in over here. Now, I do have room for M.2 there, and underneath this uh, heat shield. Another M.2 card as well. Okay, that's only eight gigs of RAM. We're gonna run a CPU stress test, but uh, we're not doing it in gaming fashion. There's the temps right there. It's running great temperature. We're gonna see what it is under load. Let's uh, look at the specs here. And you know, I'm recording this off my cell phone, so bear with me. Eight gigs of RAM at uh, 3.7 it boosts to 4.7 unless I overclock it but I am not overclocking it with a factory or stock cooler okay I don't have the money to buy the the new stuff you know what I mean so what we'll do is we'll go down here and run this stress test I paused a lot of things let's pull up the uh, old wattage this is just a simple online one you know, we're not rendering nothing right at the moment because we don't have a video card. I have a video card I can use, but it's not worth using. So just let me know what you guys think, and we'll run this test. I should move this toolbox. I don't think there's anything underneath of there, though. Frames per second. We're on the board using the integrated graphics. <laughs> That's funny. Let's see what the temperatures say. So yeah, 12 thread, cool. Looks like it's rolling quite good. I don't hear the fan picking up yet, so it must not be as hot as I think it is. This is Max right here. Now when I had it hooked up the other day, because I did hook his board up, maybe I didn't have the cooler wrong, because these were reaching 90. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? But yeah, 61 frames a second. Let me see something. Increase the power. Why not? There we go. Temps are fluctuating now. Could you imagine if I had more RAM in this thing? I'm just saying, more RAM. Uh, maybe a, a water water cooler in it. You know, good AIO. Man, this thing would scoot. Scoot, I tell ya. But it's looking good. I wonder if we can bump the threads up. Even though there ain't 13 threads. Should be a 6 core 12 thread, I think. That's what this processor is. It's only showing 5 cores on the test as well. I don't understand that. Here, let's bump it up some more. Why not? Let's bump the power wattage up too. Let's try to get this thing to wind out a little bit. Haven't heard a fan kick on yet. Of 
cool so that all looks fine and dandy for just being stuck being stuck it's this is pretty much what a factory i7 8th gen it's not a factory board of course but that cooler sure is uh we could deck this this is the phantom uh nzxt this is an old phantom case it's a p series i think it does have the back where you can tuck in the wires it's dual sided there's rooms up on top here for i think uh 230 I think they're 230, one 230, and then uh, one a different size fan. So you can put a, a fan in the back blowing in, and your exhaust coming out the top. Another good thing about this case, man, I wish I wouldn't have lost the footage of the build. Here in the front, you have, uh, I can't turn the light, oh, yeah, I can turn the light on. You have five slots open for expansion. You just pop these little deals out, if I can get one out. And there you have it, another five and a quarter, you know. You got uh, one in there already, which is a super rewritable. I don't know anybody that uses it, anything like this. Some people do, with, or Blu-ray. And you have room for three more on top of that. And if you don't want to, you just put this little thing back in here. Of course, I'm doing it sideways and one-handed. <laughs> Up on top of this, you have the power and the reset. This case was donated to me, so bear with me. And you have your lights for your power and your hard drive. You have your headphone port, your mic, a USB um, regular, a 3, and this is eSATA. And the board does support eSATA, which is sweet. Then when you want to do your expansion, you just pop these open simple setup and you lock them back in okay it's real easy real simple it's a great tool to have but unfortunately rent is coming up you know how that works out and uh this guy's a little bit low so i think what we're gonna do is maybe put this in a i don't know some kind of raffle with the ticket purchase and the more people that enter, the quicker the, the raffle will go, all right? It's that simple. The more people that enter the drawing, the uh, quicker the raffle will go. We're not hurting that bad, but we're down a little bit. No worries. So if you want to be the owner of a, you know, a board that you can pretty much tweak to the max... A CPU that you can run 5, 5.1 gigahertz on with a better cooler. You know, it don't take much more of a cooler than what it's got. And that's a factory cooler. I mean, if you want a mega computer that you can also use as a media center, a gamer, and a workstation, this would be the one to beef up. I think the raffle to enter is going to be just a simple 10, 10 spot. $10 to enter. Um, you can enter multiple times. Uh, it does not matter how many times you enter because we're going to do this live. Put all the names in a hat. You know, shuffle the barrel and uh, pick out a name and that person gets it. So for a measly 10 bone, that can be yours. And that's what we're going to start doing on these builds. We're going to start, eventually I'm going to get to the point where I can pick somebody and just give it to them. I guarantee you that. I've already have people want me to uh, do reviews on their tools. All right. I'm not into that unless I'm going to benefit big time. Uh, just a simple review and a free product is not payment. So if you're watching and you want someone to review your tool the correct way, let me know. I'll have everything down below in the about section. Make sure you leave comments. And I'm telling you, if you are not subscribed to this channel, you need to come over and check it out because I'd love to be giving these things away. I don't need them. I got enough. You know, you can never have enough, but I have enough for use. With that being said, appreciate you guys watching. Leave a comment below. 
I'm gonna put this on a premiere. I'm sorry I lost the footage. Uh, maybe I'll scrape some of it together. I'll see what happens. Till the next one, everybody. All right, there's plenty of space in this beast. Here's your uh, easy to remove uh, bracketless or whatever you want to call it covers for your five and a quarter drives. And then down here we have uh, we have a couple missing. We have one, two, three, three bays we can put uh, slide ends for for hard drives. You just pull these and they come out, and you put your hard drive in there and you slide it back in. Wires facing the back because this does have a back panel on it to hide your wires. Some of the next or the uh, NZXTs didn't have that. Convenient, got rubber there, slide your wire through. Uh, then on top, you can mount some huge, huge fans. Huge fans. I'm talking uh, 230, I guess. You got a fan on the back. Of course, all your for your PCI cars. I got some extra ones of those. Uh, I got this for free, so and I have a power supply to put in there as well. So we're gonna see what we can do to this beast. <laughs> I might make a, a multimedia center plus gamer. I don't know yet. We'll see how far we can take this with the free stuff we got. All right, let me adjust you guys around here a little bit. See if you're looking at what I'm looking at. All right, listen. Off camera, all I did was I slid a hard drive in. Not even the best one in the world. It's a 500 gigabyte for now. I got a bunch of load in here. We're just tinkering with this one. I did uh, purchase a power supply. It's uh, used, 25 bucks. So uh, we're hoping it works. How about that? We're hoping it works. We'll see what happens. With that being said, <laughs> oh, let's run all these cords back through here. You know, messing with the PC isn't so tedious. It's these wires right here for your P lid, positive and negative. Your reset switch, your power switch. I don't even want to get into that. It's like the pain. Every board just about seemed different to me. Maybe it's just me. I don't know, but we'll figure it out. Let's run these uh, bars through back here. Let's get them all on. Just your bobulated, mixed up and twisted, huh? Let's at least get that part done. So yeah, I'm only gonna run for now one hard drive. Uh, it's not the world's biggest uh, power supply. Spin you around here. I mean, it, it'll do the job. We're not putting a video card in here because the two video cards I landed for free, neither one of them worked. Uh, I got a friend on a filler for a passive video card, like a three gigger maybe. Uh, we'll see what happens with that as well. And boy, I put that thing right in there where it lines up. That never happens. Never, never. Let me see. I probably got you too close. I don't want you smelling me. Let's back y'all up while I get a whole bunch of, I get a whole bunch of comments and stuff on my. All my notifications love to go off when I'm having fun. Yeah, not how that is. It sucks to be popular, I guess. Only in the US. That's power, I hope this power supply works. I probably should have tested it. <laughs> Why? Well, if, it's, if that's the worst thing, the power supply didn't work today. Well, then we had a good day, I guess. Eh? Let's make a little one line up. Oh, okay. It's got a universal knocker right there. What I should have done was got a dust cover for this. Uh, the bottom of this CP or the bottom of this case don't have a dust cover underneath the, the blow off. That's fine. To use power supply, we're gonna have to upgrade when we go get the big boy video card, you know? So. This is only a temporary fix, I reckon. If that's what you want to call it. Temporary fix. I just want to get this thing up and going. I don't have RGB RAM. I don't have any of that. I can't afford it right now. We're working off of a uh, zero. Zero dollars to maybe uh, you put it all together if you want everything for the kids all the time and run here, run there, hustle back and forth. I think we have $200 invested in this right now. And everything else is at a bare minimum. Now I'm going to run the wires back through. Back through. Let's see here. There you are. Time for the hookup. Time for the hookup. We'll go through this top one if we can. Oh yes, ain't that fresh. And let's just hope it reaches real well. I ain't into it. I'll tell you that right now. I am not down. Lucky there. There's more light in the situation here. I'm a blind bat. Yep. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. We like to hear the clicking sound. Uh, this filler here, he don't look healthy. Why not? Oh, you well, want in there too. Whatever. That's another thing I don't like about some of the newer power supplies. Is uh, they come split like this. You know, you don't. Uh, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. Maybe I'm just used to old stuff. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. For some reason, I don't want to go in the correct way. So I must have it wrong. It's a good possibility that I got that the wrong way. How is that possible? Huh. Let me investigate. My blind ass here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's watch on that side. Okay. We got it now. What the hell am I doing wrong here? Oh, this is the part where I usually pull up my flashlight because I'm blind. Oh, it's a good possibility we got this thing backwards, too. <laughs> it's a good possibility. Oh, hell. Can't have it all, I guess. Mm-hmm. That's craziness right there. Utter craziness. Is it backwards? Leave a comment. We'll find out, huh? Must have been the right way. No, I know that clip goes on the outside of the board. What am I acting silly for? Let me look at this thing. This thing's treating me like a, like a kid. Oh, they want me to put that in first, that's why. Whatever. Damn thing. I guess I will then. Guess that's what it wants. So tedious. I'll give you the overhead. We don't got much light in here. We live in a fifth wheel. 
I don't think I got a whole lot of life to it. Okay, just line up for me. Show me the love. Really? Or not. Whatever you want. Tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I'm gonna lay this thing down, y'all. It's getting on my nerves. It's easier actually to work that way. So I'm gonna reel you guys up in the air. Generally, when you're trying to get something done, I don't want to co cooperate with you because you're on camera. But the moment you take the camera off of the show, everything works out to your advantage, you know? Or at least it seems that way to me. What do I know, though? I'm new to this. How hard was that, Keith? Jeez. Jeez, I tell you. Jeez. All right. What, what are we going to do next? Um, uh, I guess we'll do this one next. Where you at on the board? Should be, uh... Yeah. Okay, I need some more light up here. Oh, you're up Okay, let's see if you reach. Huh. There you go. Eight pin. You're not going to really be able to see that. I'm going to try to get you to see it, though. Eight pin. And also separates, man. Look at that. That's, that's just utterly ridiculous. Whatever, though, right? There's one. And, and maybe number two. I tried to hold them together, but uh, they separated on me. <laughs> There's people out there right now that build PCs all day long. I'm like, dang, what's this guy doing? This guy's having issues today. That's what he's doing. Should have brought me a drink. A good kind. Be nice and mellow there. We're locked in on that. All right, y'all. What's next? Y'all know? Oh, yeah. I plugged that CPU fan in. Oh, I did that earlier. That's right. I thought I didn't do that in front of y'all. I believe that's about it, other than hooking up the hard drive and the DVD hard drive. Do that from the back. All right. Y'all don't need to see this. It's just a SATA cable. If you don't know what a SATA cable is, there's a thousand videos out there to tell you about them. You know? Serial ATA. That's what it's really called. All right. I need one right up under here for the. You know what? I probably make it pretty or right here. That's what we'll do. We want the least amount of wire showing. Bring this one through for the. Maybe. For the DVD. And we'll try to flip the right way too. How about that? All right, now I'm gonna go on a whim and say, um, it don't really matter where you hook your, um, your US, I mean your USB, your SATA data cable. But uh, this one goes to the DVD player, so I'm gonna put it on bottom middle because there's like six, six puts there. So I put this on bottom middle. Okay, no, let's put top. It don't matter. We need one more. We're gonna get us one more, and I am not gonna go direct. I'll make it complicated. Take it in and around. It's all about cable management. Oh, you know what? This is going to go to the hard drive anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's put this one on the top there. It'll let me know if I'm wrong, I'm sure. That's if it even works. I mean, we don't know if it works yet. And then, um, I don't know, this one does go DVD player, doesn't it? Yep. Well, we'll look it through, because I want it to look pretty. We'll look it through. Because these are long. Long, I tell you. All right, you guys almost ready for some smoking fire? See if we got it to work? Why does that not want to connect right on there? Let's push it in. That's good enough. That's probably an old player right there. That's in, that's in. The USB for the top's in. What am I forgetting, y'all? Anything? Everything looks kosher to me. Hope aesthetic and stuff. Let's fire this thing up. Let's go for a test. Test drive? Sound good to you? Why not? Here, plug this cord in. Let's watch some smoke, man. I got you on the wrong side anyway here. Take the mail in. How about that? I'll plug it in yet. All right, good. Test dummy. Take one. We don't got no power. Oh, we do got power. Uh-oh. We got a pretty light. Uh-oh. Something said, eh. Let's try it again. Oh, we don't have to try it again. Oh, this is not good. Need to do something about that fan wire right there. Okay. Something's not liking me here. Let's right, switch one. Oh, there it goes. Huh. All right, man. Let's get a monitor. Shit. Let's talk about cussing. Yeah, let's move some stuff, huh? Good thing this isn't a live build, man. I done cussed out the neighbor that wasn't even around. Didn't have nothing to do with anything. That poor guy. He don't even know me. I don't know. That looks like it's working right there. There's only one way to tell. We're going to plug in a monitor. Let me set y'all back a little bit. Ain't nothing smoking yet, is it? <laughs> I don't smell anything I know. Either. I couldn't believe that power supply worked for 25 bucks. Shoot, man. That's like sore. Never mind. I'll let go. Can't beat it. Right, let's just put this DVI monitor on it. Why not? Yeah, if we, if we live in a bigger place, y'all already have all this set up and ready, ready to roll. Um, here, you take this plug in part. We're gonna load this thing. It's a media data center right here. Uh, yep. Can we plug it in? Yeah, plug it on there. Okay. What is going on with onboard graphics right now, y'all? Onboard graphics. Anything? Yep. Something? Nope, nothing? Yeah. Nope, must restart it. It just came on. What do you guys going to? It's gonna, it's gonna come off. Something just turned orange down there. It didn't like me. Let's see if we can get some blue on there. Nope, hard drive. DVD, heard that. Got a white, got a green. There it is, look at there. Well, some gun, man. ROG, kind of like ROE, only better. Yeah, let's put some, I got windows on this on this hard drive already. Let's put some uh, peripherals on it. Uh, what, memory, eight, that's memory sticks eight gigs. <laughs> that's funny, I thought it'd be four, you know, at the most. I'm put these in here. Let's get this some gun going. Y'all know the next thing I gotta do is water cool this and overclock it. We're not gonna do that this session. But, uh, ain't nothing wrong with a little five gigahertz. I'm just saying, if you're a gamer, you can feel it. Can you feel me? I'll tell you what else we gonna do. Okay, what's the same thing? After setting up? Oh, who cares? Who cares about raid? Oh, sorry about that, Ralph. Oh, Sookie. You know, let's just do an F10. Leave everything the way it is. That's pretty. That's pretty back here. I need some RGB fans, some RGB RAM, uh, video card. Be in. In like playing, man. Shoot. 
That makes a world of difference right there. Ooh, that fan winding out. Really here. And we got windows. That's always a good thing. Put this backside on whilst I'm jibber jabbing. Alright. Just need to come out of here. Just can go. Hold that metal up. Just keep. Yep, just like that. That's another wire hanging out. Oh, yeah. Stoked speaker wire that we don't even need. As everybody knows, we're going to use speaker wire. You're going to run speakers to your uh, audio out the back. That's what I'm going to do. I ain't run no single speaker on this thing. That's ridiculous. This ain't the AOL error. What the hell's in my way? No. Okay. I'll be soft with it. I'll be scared of it. It's just a piece of case. It's a cheap one. There you go. Look up screws in. Call it a day. Hold it right there. What's it doing? Oh, snap. We got windows going on. Watch out. Yep. There should be a uh, screw that you picked. Oh, there's a couple screws right there. Here's one right here. Should be good enough to take care of the whole thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just like when things work, man. I don't know. I don't know about you. There's my little screwdriver in front. Just put it away. No. Of course. Put the screwdriver away. That's a good idea. Are you under the bus like that, huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, come on, man. Come on, please. Come on, please. I'll toss this knife when I crack your ass. <laughs> you watch Nutty Professor, I assume. I don't know if you watch it or not. Yeah. That was before we got together with it. I don't know. I know the screw's not wanting to go in. Piss me off. I guess if you line the hole up a little better, it might work. I'm not sure. Uh, don't put this away. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. No internet. Oh, we don't care about that right now. Let's go see what it says. Is this the um, Maybe. Oh, there we go. 8 gigabytes, i7 8700K, and 3.7, but boost is 4.7. I can overclock that very easily. Here, let's see what the core temp is. Yeah, I put all this stuff on this hard drive right there. 20, 31C, 28C. I'm sure that's going to fluctuate. I'm sure of it. Well, what do y'all think, man? Tell me that ain't going to be a pretty thing. And I mean, we ain't really got no $200 in it, but it's right close to it. You know, with fuel and stuff, that's about it. Uh, Jerry, Dr. Jerry TC, my homeboy, my, my brother from another mother, he gave me that CPU and that board. And I told him we could sell that, man, and make you some good money. He said, nah, man, he wants me to use it. So I'm going to make sure I'm going to give him something. I'm getting something. I scrapped together, sent me over a couple boards that I could sell and make my fuel money back. And to me, that's a sponsor. So anytime you guys hear me bragging about them too, that already, you know, threw me a little tip of like, like Shark does that too. You know, I'm going to keep mentioning people's names. Take care of me. You know, I've got nothing to give back. So all I can do is brag you up. That sure would look sweet with the AIO with a little bit of RGB on it. Maybe a couple RGB fans in there. Maybe just one and a regular fan. It don't have to be that much bling in there. I mean, that's up to someone else right there. With that right there, that's a pretty little chunk of change that I got for free, man. I appreciate the hell out of that. I do. Y'all have a good one till the next one.